In October 2025, the deep silence of space trembled. The Chinese telescope, the largest ear to the universe, caught a pulse repeating every 1.7 seconds echoing through the night sky. It came from 3i, an interstellar, thought dead object moving between Mars and Earth. But the signal wasn't random, it responded. Every time it looked back at scientists, its orbit changed. Its light increased despite the fact that a part of it had only just woken up. Not a comet, not a rock, something either living or built. That evening, humanity began to unravel how one observation altered its perception of life itself, the arrival of the stranger. When July's sky was first surveyed in 2025, a faint moving object was reported against the background of Capricornus. No one expected history to unfold. The Chilean Atlas Telescope, designed for early warning asteroid detection, recorded a magnitude of plus 18.3, faint but distinct. Its motion was quick, slicing through the frame more rapidly than any comet in the main belt should. Within 48 hours, orbital solutions proved what astronomers quietly hoped for and feared. The newcomer's eccentricity exceeded 1.003, meaning it wasn't bound to the Sun at all. It came from elsewhere, our third interstellar visitor designated 3i Atlas. The last two such wanderers, 1i, Oumuamua in 2017 and 2i, Borisov in 2019, had imparted humility to humanity. They were reminders that fragments of distant worlds occasionally cross our neighborhood. But even in relation to them, ATLAS 3i was strange. Its direction originated near the constellation Lyra, approaching at nearly 40 to kilometers per second, a pace that would carry it across the inner system in mere months, not years. Its brightness made it even more intriguing. Rather than flaring as sunlight struck, it remained unchanged, as if reflecting an inner light. By mid-July 2025, observatories from Hawaii to the Canary Islands were secure. Radar from Arecibo's successor network measured an object roughly 800 meters long, smaller than Borisov but larger than Aumuamua with an unexpectedly smooth radar cross-section. Astronomers anticipated an inert comet nucleus. Instead, they observed consistency in reflection, lacking the chaotic tumble most bodies show. The rotation period appeared fixed around 9 hours, a smooth, synchronized spin. Nature seldom chooses perfect integers. Within a week, its inbound path was refined to graze within 2.1 astronomical units of Earth's orbit, passing between Mars and our world. That proximity prompted urgent scheduling on the James Webb Space Telescope. When Webb's instruments turned toward those coordinates in August 2025, they detected not a fading relic but something active. As it approached the sun, the comet should have flared, but 3i Atlas was still far from sufficient heat. Something unseen was waking it up early. By the time it reached the orbital plane of Mars, telescopes noticed an impossible curve in its direction. It wasn't escaping into the black, it was looping back, drawing nearer. What first seemed like coincidence was no longer celestial mechanics, it whispered of intent. Instruments across continents began recording emissions that pulsed like breath. The object's motion was no longer purely ballistic. It was acting as though it had plans. From that moment, the story shifted from astronomy to anomaly. On August 18, 2025, Webb recorded a deviation of 0.0 to degrees in 3i ATLAS's trajectory, small on paper, monumental in implication. Gravitational models could not explain the inward bend. Over the next 72 hours, the offset doubled. At 2.3 astronomical units, the object released tiny vapor jets visible in ultraviolet. Yet there was no solar impetus strong enough to justify them. Each burst lasted roughly 17 minutes, followed by a silence of exactly 9 hours and 6 minutes, the same as its rotation period. The cycle repeated for times in a single observation window. Comets vent gas when they heat up, that's basic physics. However, such releases are sporadic, chaotic, and dependent on sunlight angles. 3-1. ATLAS defied that rule. 
Its emissions came from symmetrical points to near the equator and to near the poles, creating paired plumes that appeared to alter its spin rate. Analysts compared the thrust pattern to a micropropulsion sequence producing 0.07 mm OS squared accelerations, tiny yet deliberate. Over a week, those nudges shifted its perihelion distance by 0.0 for astronomical units, a controlled change no random comet could maintain. Ground stations in Japan and Chile corroborated the data independently. Localized infrared readings revealed temperature spikes, heat rising from within, not from the sun. A single hotspot measured an additional to 111 Kelvin, far above the background 50 Kelvin typical of interstellar ice bodies. Then, for some reason, each spike traveled eastward across the surface, synchronized with rotation, as though a pulse of energy was circulating beneath a shell. That rhythm matched the venting cycle, transforming the comet itself into a machine that moved with heat. By early September 2025, theorists suggested possibilities, trapped radioactive isotopes, chemical reactions between permafrost and organics, even piezoelectric heating. But none explained the precision of the timing. Each pulse occurred within plus or minus five seconds across multiple rotations. Natural randomness vanished at that level of stability. In confidential circles, the term controlled propulsion began to appear. For the first time, astronomers faced a celestial object that behaved like a probe, alive to motion and self-correcting. When spectrometers analyzed the coma in early September, the data that returned challenged every known category. Molecules appeared that shouldn't survive interstellar cold, and heat emerged where no star could warm it. 